Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1 Fathead Candy Roth. Beautiful day, 75 to 85, depending on where you are. Big temperature difference, South Shore, more in the mid to upper 70s, 85, maybe 85 plus uh, and then 90 plus next couple of days, uh, north and west. So, uh, yeah, it's hot. It's going to be a hot week, but it should be a good one. Absolutely. Tomorrow, Dublin deck, hump day, hoedown, just amazing. Uh, we're ready for Lockmore, DJ Salty, Jim, the t-shirts, the, uh, Concert tickets, the Wheel of Prize is going to be gorgeous weather. I, I can't believe tomorrow's Dublin deck again. It's I, it cra- seems <laughs> to be so fast. Every time we turn, it's Dublin. It's Wednesday again. Wow. Yeah. It goes so fast. It's it's Slow remarkable. Slow train down. I told you that. I Seeing know. my little Maeve walking on the beach. She's a big girl now. Yeah, it's wild. She is. Uh, she's a big girl. She's enjoying summer already. I love it. Yeah, she's so cute. Um, so we have a few things to get to, by the way, a week from today, Tuesday, the 25th, Jay Letterman is hosting another ticket blitz. This one will be five to 7 PM out at the Smilest Dental at 770 Middle Country Road in Middle Island. It's all on our social media, but we've got the hot tickets. Hootie and the Blowfish, Dirk Bentley at the U.S. Open, Dan and Shay, Cole Swindell, Jordan Davis, Walker Hayes. We got it all, Candy. Wow. Yeah. Uh, So very exciting. Next week, next Tuesday, it's on our socials, the Smilest Dental in Middle Island. We are so excited. And I think I saw that Mr. Softy or some kind of uh, ice cream is going to be there as well. nothing ever wrong with a Mr. Softy. Bring the kiddos. Yes, going to be fun. Um, Before we get to an article that I believe uh, shows I'm the healthiest person on the oh, planet. Oh, 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 I watched a couple things last night, and I know you are uh, itching to, to say what I think I'm going to say as well, because I, I heard it in your voice earlier. So last night, I'm searching around Netflix. It's about 6 o'clock or so. And I come, I said, oh, my God. The Breakfast Club. It's on Netflix. I said, you know what? 1985. I've seen the movie a bunch of times. I watch that movie a lot. I love that movie. Haven't seen it in ages. So I watched The Breakfast Club. Now, a couple things. It still holds up today. So good. Amazingly, 40 years later, it holds up. And I know I've, I've said this to you before. How they haven't done a new, like, 2020 kind of remake of this movie. Oh, please don't. Oh, don't. Don't touch something that's perfect. Right, but you could make it more for today's kid with social media and everything, Uh, you know? uh, But it's it's, it's an incredible film. It is. Let's leave it alone. All right. So then I say, oh, I forgot. They got the Brat Pack documentary, Andrew McCarthy's thing on Hulu. Right. So I turn on Hulu, and I turn it on. And I watched it, and it was interesting, and it kept my attention. However, when we were teasing this chat about a half hour ago, you started to say something that I felt while watching this. And what was that, Candy? I felt like it was sort of an Andrew McCarthy excuse for not being one of the biggest movie stars on the planet. I thought it was kind of whiny. Um, I didn't finish it. I just got fed up and said, I'm, I'm done. I may go back to it. I may see the end of it because my girlfriend saw it. She said the ending is really good. We'll see. The first thing that turned me off, can I just say this? Uh, go ahead. He's walking in Manhattan and he's near Union Square by NYU. And he said, oh, this is where I had an apartment when I was 17. And I start to think, who has an apartment when they're 17? <laughs> Union Square. And then I realized he was a student at NYU. Yeah. And finally he said I was this. But I don't like that whole like, well, I had an apartment here. When I Get out of here. I, I'm so annoyed <laughs> with him I could spit. So you hit the nail on the head. Because as much as I was interested in seeing these thoughts by these actors and where they are today and what they thought of the whole Brad Pack thing. And I found, I did find it interesting. Um, 
this was an hour and a half therapy and whining yep. session. Whining um, and therapy for Andrew McCarthy. Right. Now, by the way, I'm not uh, bad-mouthing therapy. I, I think it's a great thing. I love And may I love add, it. he was not but, in the breakfast club. Correct. So here's what's interesting. Um, I'm, I'm a believer in, in talking to people and therapists and all that. I really am. But in this case, Andrew McCarthy said, you know, I'm going to do this by getting a camera and going around to all these famous actors to see why I'm not as famous as them. That's exactly what you said. Ridiculous. It Molly really... Ringwald didn't even appear. She could not have cared less. Right. So this will show you. Judd Nelson doesn't appear. Can't find him. Uh, Molly Ringwald doesn't appear. Emilio Estevez, Rob Lowe, and Demi Moore look like the happiest people on the planet, yes. right? And they, where was Ali Sheedy? Oh, she was in it. Oh, I missed that. She, oh, and I forgot. Okay. Ali Sheedy, Demi Moore, Rob Lowe, and Emilio Estevez look fantastic. They're like, oh, we, yeah, we, we, we loved it. We loved the Brad Pack. Hey, it was a thing. What? And Andrew McCarthy, this whole thing is an hour and a half of him trying yep. to figure out why he, why he, quote unquote, that, that didn't phrase, make it. The right. Brat Pack stopped him <laughs> from being a successful actor. Yes. Didn't stop Emilio Estevez, did it? Right. Didn't nope. stop Demi Moore. Boy, she's got some great ghosts. Yeah. All right. Mm. I'm just going to say that right off the top of my head. <laughs> Um, yeah, Molly Ringwald went on a broad, you know, yeah. they all followed whatever path they were meant. He followed, I'm a whiner. Yeah, yeah, it I'm was, it was, it was a tough watch, honestly. Um, I felt, I felt bad for him watching this thing, really. I don't even know why he yeah. would do this. Um, okay. You know, yeah. I've been called a lot of names in, you know, in terms, and I told you when I first started on NEWFM back in the day. Yeah. Um, they used to call me Little Carol, Carol because <laughs> I have a similar set. You know, and that re I'm going to blame my whole career on that. Oh, um, I'm telling you. She, I uh, am going to have a documentary. I'm going <laughs> to call it Short, and I'm going to. That's it. That's why my <laughs> career was not successful. No, but that that was that's funny. But that that hundred percent, you hit it on the head. I felt the same thing. It's an hour and a half wine fest by Andrew McCarthy. Oh. Uh, but I did find so they interviewed the guy who wrote the article who who came up yes. with the term. Um, he's not sorry, one iota. No, he's like, come on, I made you guys. What are you Never talking about? Said I about? was your friend. Right. right. Get um, out of here with your nonsense. Yeah, sorry, Andrew McCarthy. It, I mean, it failed. You know, it, it started failed. because of the Rat Pack. Which right. Back in the day, you know, Sammy Davis, mm -hmm. Mike Sinatra, and you know that crew. I don't think it hurt their careers either, do you? Yeah. No. No. It was. Ridiculous. Yeah. It was. A, it was a uh, rough. Uh, I please. found it interesting. I did find okay. it interesting, but it was. That's it was a rough. That's our review. Watch, yeah. Um, if you miss it, don't worry about it. It's just Andrew McCarthy whining for an hour and a half. Okay? Correct. Correct. All right, here's the article that says, I'm the healthiest person on the planet. Oh, boy. A new study tracked people for 13 years and found the people that not only sit around, but sit around drinking coffee were 24% less likely to pass away young than people who just sit around. So you sit around drinking coffee all day. Well, I'm not all day, but in the mornings, like let's say, let's take a weekend, okay? I'm I'm on my couch watching Netflix. I have coffee. I'm on the couch. I'm drinking coffee. In the morning, we're doing our show. I'm downing coffee at Me night. Too. At night, I have a mini iced coffee about seven, eight o'clock every night. That okay? I don't do. All right. Non-coffee drinkers who sit for six plus hours are 60 percent almost more likely to pass away young than coffee drinkers. Oh, let's let me have another sip. That's right. Um, so to me now, I don't you know, I don't go to a gym. I don't walk on a treadmill. I really should. I need to get a little more athletic. I I agree. A little Candy. bit. I, a yeah. little bit. For sure. But the fa if you are going to sit around, if part of your life is sitting around watching uh, streaming, drink coffee. That is what this study is saying, Candy. And I, I feel, uh, what's the word? Uh, when 
you know, something proves you're right. I feel validated, I guess, is the... Uh, Are you out of your mind? Is the word. <laughs> hey, I run around enough during the day. I'm you running run around here. Yeah. in your car, dropping, picking, going, doing, working at a desk. Let's, let's face it. You're not running around. That's just you, a term that means nothing. You bring up a good point. I'm not running a marathon or really no. getting getting steps in Picking per the se. Kids up and you go on a sit and watch tennis, and then you're gonna go get something at the store, and yeah. Um, I probably need more coffee. Maybe another cup or two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. You're right. You're right. You're right, and you're wrong. I do feel I'm on the healthier end of that article, but yes, I a few more steps would I help. I feel a little better myself. But All no, right. am I the picture of perfect health? I can honestly say no. But I'm All right. bad. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm with you. Uh, Candy, we've got your bald and the beautiful entertainment coming up about 8.12. Later in the 8 o'clock hour, national days, good news stories, and a warning label the Surgeon General wants to put on something will tell you. We can have an interesting discussion about this. I think we'll both agree. Actually, uh, we've got a beautiful day tomorrow. Same Dublin deck hump day hoedown tomorrow. Can't wait for that every Wednesday. The food, the drink, the music. The, it's going to be fantastic uh, today. Give or take 75 to 85, depending on where you are on the island and sunshine. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.